It's time now for the Beer Channel Evening News on the Saturday evening, September 19th, 2015. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins, and I have top news and I are at 7.40 on this. Saturday evening here, top story at 7.40 is... Pope Francis landed in Cuba on Saturday, quickly called on the communist nation to open itself to the world while President's restoration of diplomatic ties with the United States recently. A suspect in Phoenix's recent highway shouldn't deny Senator that he had anything to do with a case as a judge set his bail of $1 million. Middletown, California. The tally of homes destroyed by two massive North California wildfires topped 1,000 Saturday after 40 days doing damage assessments in the Sierra Nevada foothills. Canada number 250 houses destroyed by flames. Political candidates are confronted with all sorts of questions of comments by the public and even supporters while campaigning and including plenty that are inaccurate and some that are sure to offend. The Iranic Croatia and the Hungarian officials have accused Croatia of helping refugees from the Middle East cross the borders illegally. Mackinac Island, Michigan. Kali Fiona gets a rock star welcome at GOP events on Mackinac Island. The United States is concerned about Russia's recent deployment of the fighter jets to Syria despite good conversations between the two countries in the deal's plate, the conflict in Syria. Athens, Alexis dispersed the firebrand Greek leftist who had lost his bitter fight with Europe's establishment and his harsh economic austerity against its country, seeks his re-election on Sunday, a month after he resigned as Prime Minister. The Africa and Turkey, at least 55 militants were killed when Turkish warplanes hit Kurdistan Workers' Party. Camps in Northern Iraq overnight security sources said on Saturday as Ankara shows no signs of ease and obstruction in search ahead of November. Five years ago, found dead after a refugee port sinks off Greek coast. The biological father, a murdered two year old girl who was for nearly three months was simply known as Baby Doe, said he doesn't believe that the girl's mother would have harmed her. A homeless man committed the expression in Cairo National Force with more than four tons of garbage to a sentence early this week to prison. San Bernardino, California, a driver of a letter for the Warren and Mile Park freeway chase was stuck, getting struck by gunfire from a San Bernardino County Sheriff's cell cover before dying. The agency confirmed Saturday. Three Federal Reserve policymakers argued on Sunday, Saturday for lifting the central bank's key interest rate before year and countering in bet by many traders that the Fed will wait until 2016. Nashville, Tennessee. Federal Reserve Policy Rick. Nashville, Tennessee. Federal Reserve policymakers appeared to the deeply on Saturday over how seriously problems in the world economy will affect the U.S. Enemy imminent suspects by cheap oil, more crude may enter the market. Chicago caught in a political stalemate that has forced to operate for nearly three months without a budget. Illinois spending decisions are increasingly being made by court today. Rate that is further deepening in the state's fiscal goals. Early in 2015 in January, it was reported that the two supermassive black holes in the Virgo constellation will collide with each other in million or so years. Thousands of residents in multiple towns and cities in Costa Rica witnessed a mysterious cloud formation on Tuesday, September 15, the country's independence day. And it's composite of photographs of the moon during various phases at the beginning and middle end of a total lunar eclipse. Now we decided that science is once again on display in the annual award ceremony. Over the last several years, the NFL has come under fire for its failure to address the dangers of head trauma as ace of an annual NFL players test positive for brain disease CTE. As the Indian people spread across the Arctic, they developed one of the most extreme diets on earth. They didn't farm fruits, or vegetables, or grains. Eli Lilly and Company's new journalist pills slash deaths by 32% in the patients with type 2 diabetes at the risk of heart attack and stroke, and finding that could make it a mainstay of diabetes treatments within triple abuse, according to researchers. Earlier this year, Chinese scientists caused an international fear with when they were reported they had taken 86 human embryos and attempted to modify the gene that causes it. Dilesmia, a blood disorder that is potentially fatal. Peter Channel News Time, 7.44, time now for a traffic report here on this. Saturday evening here, and it is still sailing on ways, byways, New England here on this late Saturday morning, late. Highways and byways of New England looking good on this Saturday evening here, except we're seeing some few slow spots here in 
in the Providence and vicinity here as 146 in this half side. It is slow from Route 15 in Providence now. 146 half on the slow before Route 95 in Providence here. 95 in the half on side, slow for the downtown Providence here from Ranch Germany all the way out to the 610 connector here. Route 3 and on northbound side. We get an accident here on Route 3 and on the northbound side. Before exit 12, which is Route 139. So, Route 3 and on the northbound side. So, from Route 14 in Duxbury up in Marshfield here. 120 and on the southbound side. So, before the brain tree split. 24 and on the northbound side. It is slow between 120 and Route 139 in Randolph Stoughton areas of Route 1. Route 24 here. South face is present on the northbound side. So, from Dorchester all the way out to. The mass pack and the Timonil Tunnel on the northbound side it is so for the downtown Boston. 93 in the southbound side, so from Summer to the Zakin Bridge. So driving on the westbound side, so from the Zakin Bridge all the way out to the Hatch Shell. Doing an event going on the Hatch Shell here. One way in the southbound side, it is slow before Route 3 in Burlington here. But otherwise, a spill of sailing commute here on this Saturday evening on the highways and byways and wing on there. And look at that MBTA alerts there. On the subway, Green Line, D Branch, Chris, and Modern Lays to the Sable Train. Green Line, E Branch, Chris, and Modern Lays to the Traffic. So on, SO4 Express, and Modern Lays to the Traffic. So on, SO4 Express, and Modern Lays to the Traffic. Here. Got meter rail, frame and whistle line. Please be advised that track work that all trains may experience with delays to 10 to 30 minutes. Watch for updates here. Haver line, delayed 15 to 20 minutes to the track work. And on the ferries, all human health, very truthfully, we are for about 14 days due to the schedule long on the bridge construction. I've been 3 to 8 minutes of travel. Pierre Tell News, I'm 746 here on this Saturday evening news town half hour. Weather report here tonight. In Chris Cobb, low at 63 degrees. Southwest about 5 to 8 miles per hour. Sunday, slight change of shots before 10 a.m. Class guys are at mid morning and gradual clearance guys are at 74 degrees. North for about 8 miles of the chest face is 20 percent. Sunday night, close guys about 46 degrees. North for about 5 to 7 miles an hour here. Monday, size guys about 600 degrees. North face with about 8 to 13 miles an hour here. Monday night, park class got about 31 degrees. And North face with about 6 miles an hour here. Tuesday, park side of both class got about 68 to about 53 degrees. Wednesday, park side of park class got about 72 to about 52 degrees. Thursday, both side of park class got about 74 to about 52 degrees. Friday, park side of both class got about 69 to about 51 degrees. And for Saturday, park side got about 67 degrees. Not temperature at 7.7 p.m. First got 72 degrees, humidity 71%. And that is going to be it for the Peter Channel. Evening news on a September 19th, 2015 on a Saturday night. Peers, they have a good evening and I'll see you at 11 o'clock for a late night report. Have a good evening, you.